What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. I am one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer, Nick Scarpino. Hi. Hi. What's up, everyone? Thank you. The pure one, Tim Geddes. Let's him host. Thank you, thank you for wearing the pigeon shirt, by the You're way, welcome. Tim. You're welcome. The world's most Best ugliest shirt. shirt. Target, twenty four nine nine. Terrible. <laughs> and a special guest, Rooster Teeth's own, Barbara Dunkelman. Hello. Howdy. You are cosplaying currently? No. Yes? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this is your normal outfit. Yeah, I I've am. I've jumped to conclusions. I am I'm dressed sorry. as Yang Xiaolong from the popular web series, Ruby. Yay. Never heard of it. Uh, ladies <laughs> was, and gentlemen. I was going to come as that too, but I didn't fit in the costume. This sorry. is a special one off episode of the Game Over Greggy Show. What's we that? are why live. Are you, why are you rocking the mic? In Austin. This is what I do. I hate the mic stands. You're, you should hold the mic can stand. I, just do and like the I mic did that like in the this. beginning and I look like a jackass. Nobody wants that. Well, I'm going to do it then. All right, fine. Enjoy this yourself. This is really heavy. I'm, I'm not going to rock do it like this. It's not working. What is what is what it are you even doing? I don't know. How do you have that much energy to actually hold the mic like that? I'm ready right now? to dance, man. I want to see that. <laughs> all, I, all How many I've people want to see Greg dance right all now? I t- <laughs> there it is. He's a dancing fool. <laughs> He's a dancing fool. Oh, sh- well, there it is. Thanks, the Nick. The water goes down. We're good. It's fine. It's safe. Uh, we're live, everybody. As we hope we are. <laughs> no, I, well, you know, for the kids at home, they bought the MP3. They don't know what's happening. Oh, fair enough. We're, we're live, live at we're Rooster so Teeth. Now everybody claps. <laughs> In front of a panel, a huge audience, way more than I thought would come Millions. out to see this show, especially because we didn't even promote you were going to be here. You oh. signed on late. Yeah, sorry. This whole place would be packed if we said Barbara Dunkelman is going to be Barbara here. Barbara Dunkelman. Dunkelman it up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, the Game Over Greggy Show is a podcast each and every week for sometimes five best friends gather around this table, each bringing a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, you can usually go buy the MP3 for $1 at GameOverGreggy.Bandcamp.com. If you don't think we're worth the dollar, we don't think we are either. You can get the videos of the podcast at YouTube.com slash GameOverGreggy every day, broken out topic by topic. I think you're worth the dollar. Uh, then you should probably go buy some no. band camps. No. no. Okay. I'm not doing that. You could just, people always do that, right? They're like, oh man, we, I, I, I love the videos, so I don't buy the thing, but I think you're worth the dollar. I'm like, just buy the thing and don't download the podcast. I don't fucking care. I know. My thing is I get so much of you all the time that yeah. I don't want to pay for you. Do okay. You, do you guys always bang the table like that? Yeah. Because yeah. that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it's, we're, it's, we take a page from like the Mussolini speech, you know, like pub, <laughs> this is how you publicly speak. We're making points. Gus Blood would, will run through the streets. <laughs> this, did he do this? No, that's, that's my favorite that's thing like, people that's do. That's like, the, that's like uh, Obama or Clinton. Yeah. Or that's the president now. It's the politic thing. Yeah, yeah, it's the politicin. I like to do this, and then you give it a, a firm that. Yeah. You really want to make a point. You're making a compelling radio this? for the podcast listeners. And that, yeah. That's well, they got to come get the video. <laughs> they're, they're in the car right now. I, I can't believe. We don't know what he's doing. i got to watch these <laughs> damn videos doing that now to understand thing. what the hell he's doing. Um, <laughs> let's get going, then. Of course, buy T-shirts at DigitalLines.com. Like we, this you know, T-shirt. We, we only have an hour. That's why we won't sell this one. Oh, yeah, right. I have Oreogasm. Oregasm. You're wearing a limited edition Patilla yeah, shirt. Just, you can't get this shirt anymore. My wife brought that up to me earlier. She's like, they can't buy that shirt. Why are you wearing Maybe it? Maybe one day, so if, the, if, the, if the economy demanded, if Colin was here to explain the economy <laughs> to us <laughs> on how it works. I still don't think it's a real thing. Barbara Dunkelman. Economy. <laughs> What's up? What's your topic? RTX, obviously. RTX. RTX. Where we're yeah. at. I like that. I love how we all said that like it was DMX, like it was a rapper. DMX. Barbara, what about RTX? Is it just RTX in general? How, yeah, awesome it is and what's going on this weekend. This is my first RTX. This is my first RTX. It's my first RTX. This is not Be my gentle. first RTX. <laughs> oh my God. So I will say this. So my, my first exposure to RTX was this morning. I walked in and there was a really long line. And I'm like, oh, they haven't opened up the main show floor yet. And one of your guardians, I think is what they call them. Yes, The, the security people that are very nice. And if you get They're in a line, they kick you very nicely, I guess. Um, he was like, no, we've been letting this line in for an hour. Yep. Mm-hmm. And apparently the line was so long that it actually like hit the outskirts of Texas. Yes. And was starting to go. <laughs> we, we actually made it to Houston. That's amazing. That's great, yeah. And I, so I had to, I literally had to bribe one of the guardians who I met at that fundraiser thing last night. Uh, Stan, I think was his name. Yep. I found him and I was like, you have to sneak me in because 
this is too, this is too, I can't miss this. I can't go on a panel Don't and talk to Barbara. Don't you have a VIP pass? I did, but I like to be snuck in to feel like special. <laughs> <laughs> you have the legitimate means to walk into any room here. Yeah, but you're like, hey, sneak me in. I was also with my Stan's wife. Stan's like, I don't get paid. This is volunteer No, Stan straight up, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to put him on blast, but he was like, I've been standing in this same spot for like three hours and I haven't gone to the bathroom yet. Can I please just walk you guys in? So I have an excuse to do to move sure. because he was uh-huh. wa- it was like sure. watching just hordes of people and they were all very well sort of mannered. No one was getting out of line, no pun intended. Um, and they were all walking, just funneling right in. And God it was, damn it, was crazy. Nick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Nice. Um, that's awesome though. I mean, going to the show floor and seeing everything and, and everything's powered by Twitch. You can see that everywhere, so that's cool. Yeah, Thanks, we're streaming live on Twitch right now. <laughs> hey, hey, Twitch. Yeah. So we, Twitch. We didn't promote because we want you to watch these videos on youtubecom Uh um, Subscribe. No, yeah, RTX is pretty amazing. It is. Thirty thousand. I'm people. a little biased. Yeah, you set all this up. You did all this. You set up all these chairs, right? Personally, yes. <laughs> I might. There might be some sweat on some of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thirty thousand chairs. Set yes. Up by Barbara Duncan. For every single attendee. She started seven years ago. <laughs> Just finished now. How much work goes into planning RTX? A lot. Yeah, um, when does I can't it start take, for you? I can't take all the credit. I mean, it's take me and Gus are the co-directors, and then we Gus have do our entire sales team. Yeah, Gus really doesn't do anything. He yells at me. Um, it, it takes a full year to plan one year event. Yeah. But I mean, we're already talking about 2015 right now, so. Oh, that's insane. It's gonna be What's awesome. crazy to me about you, about Rooster Teeth in general is you guys all wear so many hats, right? Like mm-hmm. every time I meet someone. Tim always introduces me because he's a huge fan. I'm a huge fan now. Yeah, like I have a beanie and a baseball cap and a cowboy hat. It's great. (laughs) (laughs) Is that how the rest of this hour is going to go? That's what it's going to get much worse. Awesome. (laughs) No, but it's it's so it's actually really cool to watch you guys. You know, plan all this stuff and then also sit on the panel to actually be the talent and be the faces of everything. It's really it's inspiring for us because you know, Greg doesn't do anything. Nope. (laughs) Tell me about it. He just shows up where it looks pretty. Does the Even intro, that's that's that canned intro that he's practiced <laughs> over and over and over again. So, yeah, inspire him. Yeah. No, it's funny. Sir in the red shirt, I'd like you to go to that microphone because I want to talk to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, I don't, what, what, I, what, I, what, what what boggles my mind about the, the rooster teeth and the RTX is the dedication of your community. Holy crap, I'm going to take a yes. picture of you right now because you're like silhouetted perfectly with the backlight. <laughs> your you community like... is amazing. I, can't, I, I, I tweeted about this. Our flight out here, it was like 70%. RTX attendees. Yep. They all knew me. They were all street passing. Then there was this one drunk bachelorette party, but they weren't coming here. <laughs> Damn but, it. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Tim. <laughs> we're keeping you the pure one. <laughs> um, sir, in the re- uh, what, what makes you love Rooster Teeth so much? Uh, I don't know. It's the community, uh, the content. There's so much stuff. How did you stumble upon it the first time? Uh, watching the first episode of Red vs. Blue in my friend's house. Nice. How long Do you ever ago? wonder why we're here? Uh, 2004. <laughs> what was that, Tim? It was a Red vs. Blue. Oh, I, I didn't hear the, hear the so line. Do you ever wonder why we're here? Gotcha. Okay. No, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. It's crazy the fact that everybody comes out here for one thing. You know what I mean? It's a convention about your website. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm used to like Comic-Con or E3, right? Where there's everyone comes for everything and it's this big hodgepodge. But like coming here, you really, if you want to strike up a conversation with someone, you should be like, hey, what about that rooster teeth? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, you like rooster teeth? Like, yeah, it's awesome. Like, it's really cool. It's really kind yeah. of, I'm, I'm a little jealous. I, I want my that. own expo. I want the Tim Gettys pigeon shirt expo. Yeah. <laughs> God, that's an ugly shirt. I don't know shirt. if we can get 30K for that one. I think hey. we can get like two people to show up. Yeah. Can Close we ban that shirt? Next we cannot year? ban this shirt. What's amazing is that like if you need to start well, ironing it because now it's just laying there like yeah. a limp body it's on like the, the left side. Like one of the flock? like one's flock upside down literally looks dead the to me. The flock is here. Yeah. Yeah, you see, think it's fly? Uh, it's fly. Hey. You're biased. Hey. His Care girlfriend thinks it's fly. Girlfriends. All right, here's what I want then, sir, in the red shirt. I want Who's still you... standing there. Thank yeah, I know. You for that. We're going to let him go here in one second. But here's the problem I found, is that I tell people I'm coming to RTX, and they say, what's that? And I say, oh, it's the Rooster Teeth thing. And they go, what's that? There are people that don't know about RTX and Rooster Teeth. So in 30 seconds... Not many. I want you to give them a no pitch pressure. right yeah, here no on why they should care about Rooster Teeth and then come to next year's RTX. Are you ready? This is what you get for sitting in that second row. In having a red shirt. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Uh, it should come because it's where gaming meets the internet and community. And 
I'm joking. Uh, uh, <laughs> Nailed it. It's, uh, it's just an awesome experience. It's, I've been, I came here on my own. I've already met uh, dozens of people who I'll probably be friends with for quite a while and speak to. And it's, I don't know. It's a really friendly experience. You have five seconds left. <laughs> you don't have to fill it. You did very well just now. Don't tell me <laughs> what to do. There it's you really go. hard. <laughs> can I sit down now? Yeah, you can sit down now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for standing and being a part of this show. I do like your red shirt quite a bit. You are evil. What? <laughs> put, put someone up there and put them on the spot like that? Yeah. I would be like crying. Oh, it's not the last time that's going to happen. Trust me. <laughs> You see, you're, 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 you're not, we're not trapped with you. You're trapped with us. <laughs> That's an excellent reference. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I thought you'd like it a lot. Yeah, I do. Anything else on the RTX you want to talk about, Barb? I'm just like so excited that it's finally happening. I mean, it's so much work, but everyone's always like, oh, aren't you stressed and tired? But it's, it's so rewarding to see everybody here and having such a blast. So yeah. Thank so what, you what panel are you most hyped for after, I, besides this one? Obviously. I was really hyped for Ruby, um, which was amazing. And... <laughs> Probably, I'm going to remember that for a long time. Um, I'm excited for the RTAA panel that I'm going to go to after this because we have some surprises there as well. Yay. But yeah, clap. Everything. Two fans for that. Nice. <laughs> Tim. Yes. What's your topic? So today my topic is about internet videos. It's why we're here right now. Right. What are your favorite internet videos? Gauntlet season two. <laughs> <laughs> I like, Honestly. I like Honestly. The Greg Miller episode of Gauntlet Season 2. The, I think it was Episode 7, where you lose your shit. Right, where I win. That is one of my favorite internet videos of all time. It's funny you bring that up. Yeah. Because when I came up here, I was greeted with a painting I had only seen on the internet from Floatster. <laughs> of my... It's so beautiful. When I won. When I won the Gauntlet Season 2. When you cheated two. to win. When I won the Gauntlet Season 2. I don't think that's, you didn't that's, win! That win... Yeah, I did. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry, Tim. Oh, you're right. What was the name of the kid who won the gauntlet season two? Exactly. Elon. Nobody fucking knows because it was Greg Miller's show. Once I was eliminated and I had been, I had won. I was the one name you would know now out of all the names that had won. So I won it. And then, so yeah, whatever. These two, whatever. In the extra episode, nobody watched. The other kid did well. You know what's I guess. really funny about that is I think Stan, the guardian who helped you, was a contestant on I know. the gauntlet. Was he? Yeah, he was. That's I gave awesome. him a big hug Shout when I came in. Okay. Who was the guy you like barreled over? Who Dr. was just Robotnik? trying to give you an onion ring? Dr. Robotnik. It Dr. was Dr. Robotnik, Robotnik himself. Yeah. No, who, yeah. was who was that? Person? Who was that person? Who was actually playing that person? Who was Dr. Robotnik? Uh, that was a guy named Steve Cunningham. Does he, has Woo. he recovered from that? Did he have to have I, some sort of It's all he talks surgery? about. I am not kidding. It's all he talks about. <laughs> See, hey, remember that time? See, the, thing about, it, the thing about it, right, and this is spoilers. I'm sure we'll talk about this in the gauntlet panel as well, is that if you watch the footage, like, first off, we all, knew, didn't, we all know I'm fucking amazing at Sega. So we should have known <laughs> that I would be the first person to finish the course, you know, to finish that section of the course. Should have known. And when I come around, like, they gave us a walkthrough of the course earlier. So we knew where the, you know, this is the rings, this is what you're going to do. You run around here, you go to here. There was no Robotnik. There, was, there were no onion rings. So I was like, okay. And then me and Freddie were like, wait a second. Freddie, you stand at the end of that and try to direct the other teams into the kitchen and shut the door. And so if you watch the footage, I come around and you see Freddie at the end of the hall because he's waiting for Barb or whoever comes by next. And so in my head, I'm like, we're already fucking with the other teams. Clearly, they're going to do that to us. And so I thought Dr. Robotnik was an elaborate prank. <laughs> now... It was Lindsay. It was really Lindsay up there. <laughs> and so when I ran around and he goes, stop. And I go, no. <laughs> I was mentally prepared that nothing would stop me. But How when many? the plate shatters against the wall and even the cameramen go, oh, I was like, <laughs> fuck, that was not a prank. <laughs> and let me, let me ask you guys this. How many people have actually met Greg in person before today? Okay. Do, the first thing that people say is, oh my God, you are a giant. Look at this guy. Stand up for a second. Well, I'm on a stage. Nobody, well, nobody can tell. Okay, well, I'm 5'8". Look how much taller he is than me. So if, <laughs> yeah, talk shit now, internet. Yeah. If, if this man were barreling down on you as at full fast, speed. As fast as these tree trunks can uh, take him. Yeah, which is not very fast, but once you get you're like the juggernaut, once you get right. that momentum, nothing right, can right, stop right. you. I would, I would probably soil myself. I'd run the other way. Yeah. You got, and you have like bear-like strength, which sure. is ridiculous because you've never worked that once in your life. I have that, I have that of mice and men strength. It's, oh, yeah, you're like oh Lenny. Oh, my God. <laughs> Snapping people's necks every time you walk up to them. Well, that's like Frankenstein. 
Fair enough. <laughs> Internet video. Internet yes. video. Tim, favorite. yeah, what's your Tim? What's, what's your favorite? Your, what, so, what sent you down this path? I mean, it's kind of this sounds like a cop out because I'm here, but honestly, Red versus Blue was like such a big deal to me. And on top of that, the work that Monty Owen did with Hayloid and Dead Fantasy and all that stuff, I was such a huge fan of that. And then all of a sudden, my worlds collided, and Monty Owen starts working on Red versus Blue. So I have to give a shout out to season eight through ten specifically. Like those things were fucking baller. Yeah, so yeah. Clap. Mick, uh, I whatever Tim shows me. So Tim is my conduit. <laughs> you to are the so internet. old. I'm you so are old. so outside I the know. demographic of the internet. It's so ridiculous. I'm like, I don't. Did get you like it. that Tim, that one with the it. Asian guy that did the horse thing? The one, uh, oh, have you guys seen that one yet? <laughs> Come on, that's a really popular song apparently. No, so Tim comes to me one day and he's like, "Dude, you gotta check this video out. This guy's gonna blow up." And I'm like, "I don't. Okay, sure." And he shows me this video of this blonde guy with his long hair and shaved sides like riding a scooter and he's going to go like to the thrift shop or something and he's like this guy's the bomb he's going to blow up and I'm like no way yeah he blew up it was Macklemore it was what, a completely what? ridiculous thing that and Psy I think you showed me Psy first and I was like this guy's awesome but no way is the American audience going to get this and it's getting what 20 million views a second or yeah. something like that still it recently to this crossed day. 2 billion views 2 billion views Gangnam style what? so yeah whatever you show me like you showed me the turn down for what video and I was like this is amazing thanks Tim which have you seen it Oh yeah. <laughs> it's of course she's seen it. Everyone's seen it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. My wife just showed. What was that video you just showed me that I'm like super late to? Something in the shell. Shout it up. Yeah, she's like, "Have you seen this?" And I was like, "No." And I look at the views. And it's like 30 million views on this thing. And I was like, "Oh god, I, I need to just quit internet video and go back to analog video. Just press and play on people's v VHS recorders, <laughs> old episodes of Seinfeld. Done. It's really sad." <laughs> We went down a really dark <laughs> really dark. <laughs> we went down a really sad No, I don't know. I, love, I mean, I love watching anything. Like Tim, who, by the way, is on a little site called IGN.com, mm -hmm. also does some really, really awesome videos uh, for the IGN original series. So his uh, Macklemore parody, which I think was Game Shop, was pretty awesome. Yes. Thank you. So pretty much also, anything the, you do. The Zelda video that IGN made. I was oh, yeah. not a part of that. I was years before I wasn't part of that my either. time. But that also is another reason why I'm here. That was like the last year we could do anyone, I felt like, could do an April Fool's video and people were going to believe it. Now everyone's been burned so many times over. You're just numb to it. it. Yeah. It's still fun, though. Uh, don't check the internet tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the dates. It's a good Look at the voice. dates. <laughs> Theater IGN. Yeah. You guys are stupid. Stop trying. I hate trying. everything you do. Stop doing it. It is April 1st. You're all wrong. Do you want to know how to count all the way to 55? <laughs> <laughs> how come every time she says anything, it's better than us? <laughs> every time. I got boobs. <laughs> Damn. Well, hold on now. Wait, I know. I'm, I'm like, say, wait. Like, <laughs> these are, that's a good, that's a solid B cup right Thank there. Thank you. I just ate a bunch of fried chicken before oh, I came good. here. Good. Everyone should go to Gus's. They didn't pay me to say it, but it's good. And they're like, giving like, away. Like Gus Cerola's house? No. Oh. The Gus's fried chicken. <laughs> famous fried chicken. I'd go over there for fried chicken, though. So uh, I have a favorite internet video. It's actually a Vine, though. Okay. That counts. It makes me laugh every single time I see it. It's a tiny little dog lying on its back on a pillow, and it's playing that song, Pour some right. sugar on me. And someone pours a bunch of candy on it. <laughs> and it's just sitting there like, ah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I need to pull it up. It's so funny. My favorite thing about this video is the fact that I've seen it, and the dog flinches right before it happens. Right before so <laughs> you know this motherfucker Dog owner has been doing this over and over again <laughs> until he gets it just right. And this poor dog, like, it's like eight hours later, the dog's like, "Stop pouring on sugar on me." So I Vine don't just introduced counters, so you can see how many views your vines get, and it counts the loops. Yeah, I'm excited to see what what the number Does is it, on this. Baby. Is it retroactive? Do you think? Yeah, it, it goes back really? and gives you all the old ones. I have one Vine video. What is it? I wonder how it's many just views me. It has. It's that. It's just me doing this like, at the camera. Like, is this is it on? Is the vine working? So it's my favorite thing because this vine video, if you Google Nick Scarpino, there's it's a one screenshot of the images from that comes up and it is the worst oh picture God. of Nick. And he's just like, Here, put it close to your mind. Yeah, it it's looks good. like it oh, looks like I'm high out of my yeah, mind. Yeah, we need a we need a snap. I don't know if the camera right can zoom. Oh wait, there's a camera. There's right HD. Right. What do you mean? There we go. There it is. Here we go. All right, you ready, guys? <laughs> <laughs> one more time. <laughs> The terror in the dog's face. Look like, at it. It's like everything's fine. Oh, cr uh, no, no, no. Uh, no. My problem is like ratio-wise, the dog weighs like two pounds. The, the candy weighs like 
probably a half pound total. That's like getting half your body weight dropped on you. That's terrifying. You just, like, can't do anything about it when it finishes. Just like. <laughs> Because you know they powerless. Keep, it's gotten away a few times, and they keep putting it right back in that <laughs> position. He's like, well, fine. The one I think that you, you, know, you said internet video. I immediately go back to what's the first internet video I remember, right? And for me, it was downloading off of the AOL. No oh God, I'm uh, not. I don't think we can talk about the comic first internet book video message we ever boards. <laughs> and it was a mashup of the Super Friends with one of those What's Up commercials. Yes. And they, so it was like Aquaman talking to Superman. They What's Up? Ah! I, I thought it, I literally I was in hysterics. My parents had to come into the room to see what I was looking at on the, 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 the computer, the family PC at the time. And then they were like, did this give us viruses? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> How does that work? Probably. I don't know. I'm just downloading things. Shout out to Windows 95. Shout out to Windows 95, big time. One peer. Remember that? And they, they had that you Rolling Stones song. Windows. Stop me up. I remember, mom. We gotta get. You lost me. We Drake. gotta get Windows ninety five. Stones back, and my mom's like, stones "Why?" Back and you just start singing Rolling Stones yeah, songs. Yeah, it was, it was just like, so oh. cool. It was. I'm convinced. It was. It was a. You know. It was a movement. Windows ninety five. Right. It was. A, it was a movement of our time. Nope. It really I don't think put, it was. It. It was. Was it? We had the Start Me Up song. Start me up. And there's other lyrics there. Never stop. Never stop. You make a grown man. And remember this. The thing is, you guys only spend like an hour with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, all day, every day, everywhere I turn. You make a grown man cry. Like, oh, What's funny is I really like that song, and, and I like the way you're like, singing it. The background was all blue, like the sky. Yeah, I remember. Green. It was Mick yeah. and Keith yeah. and the boys. Why was I so excited for an operating system? Because they, made, the they made you excited for that. Remember, like, back in the day, you just you got excited for that. You got excited every time Apple put something out, and now it's like, we're all dead inside. Wow, you know Aren't the you, wallpaper. Like, are you excited about any like, anything like that anymore? You know that wallpaper for XP, that's like the the green fields. Right. Some dude went out to find that picture and like retake it. Now it was awesome. Is there just a he, part? Did he, he hide found something the in it exact though? fields that they used? If you would have done over. that, you would have hidden a shirtless man like somewhere off in the distance. It would have been Greg. It would have been Greg. Yeah. You can't be hide that Greg hidden. shirtless. Yeah. That's like we got to we got to We got to take that photo somewhere to RTX, <laughs> where it looks like we're taking a photo of like. Barb hanging out with people, but then in the way background, I'm just sitting there, <laughs> shirtless. Just there. supermanning it. <laughs> Nick. Yes. Well, okay, if we did it here, though, it'd be hard you to go, do. Go, great, just go sit in the audience. I'll take a picture of you. But, but then you got the lights. We'll have to turn up the house lights. That's true. You we'll do, do it that? afterward. Everyone we can stick do it around you can, we'll we, do can, it. we can do it. All right, fine. All right, all right. So we need the house lights turned up real Can we quick. get the house? Oh, all right. wow. All right. Whoa. This is what you all look like in real life. So Tim, here's want, what we're gonna do. All right, I'm You're going beautiful. to that. I'm going to that empty seat there. Okay. Right, right there. Okay. Next to Batman. I'm going next to Batman. Okay. Then we'll, you got. And then take, I'll take a picture of these two on stage out that way, and okay. you be in the background. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Here, you do it with my phone though. Is this I, like uh, a tweeted. common thing right. you guys do? What is this? Usually, More whenever often we do an OTX panel, yeah, we do this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Everyone, be cool for a second. Done with this. You got to stand up, Greg. I can't see. I can't, all I see is it looks like you're wearing a white shirt. Stand up a little bit. Just stand like. There you go. Right there. My back is that hairy? All right, ready? One, two, flex break. All right, we're good. You're losing weight, Greg. You're quitting Team Fat. Uh, team Fat Twitter. You're quitting. No, buy the Team Fat shirt at districtlines.com slash game over, Greg. I have missed those nipples. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Come on. See, this is the other thing I was, I told you this, uh, I think at the end, probably on our final day of shooting or whatever, but my biggest regret from the gauntlet shoot is that on day one, you guys shot the Bare Naked Ladies music video. Mm -hmm. And I had met you all for 15 minutes. And they were like, oh, Greg, go outside. They're shooting this music video. I was like, whatever the fuck that means. And I go out there and they're like, what's happening? So oh, it's apocalypse running around. I'm like, 
So I immediately take off my shirt <laughs> with these people I barely knew, but I like didn't know you at all, and you're like the star of that. And if I, I always say, if I would have no, if, like, if we filmed that today and we hadn't filmed it before, I would have at the end when I run back on, thrown you over my shoulder and run off camera with you. <laughs> but I didn't feel comfortable doing that to a complete stranger. So instead, running up shirtless and assaulting you, I'm fine with. Instead, you just rubbed your body all over me, <laughs> which is uh, cool. I was down with it. Was it, was it kind of clammy? His body. Because sometimes when he takes his shirt off, it's it, there's like a layer of clamminess under, between the shirt and the pale skin. I don't need to know that. I don't think, I don't think I'm that clammy. Get up there. Oh, no, you're bone dry. Yeah, I right? stand corrected. Thank I you. apologize. Thank you very much. He got to air out when he took off his shirt. Exactly. Yeah. So. You went for a nice I, got, I, I was looking at some of the footage though. I gotta do some. Christine, we gotta shave this back. <laughs> These oh, shoulders no. are not looking hot. You got, up let here. me do. It, it, there's a thing called Veet. Have you heard of this? I think. No, we're talking. Why not? Don't use it. Don't use it on your sensitive areas, but you can use it on your back. It's super easy. Don't use it Here's on your what you do: areas. you get your significant other. Yeah. To ch- they, they take this can of Veet. It's this like I guess they call it a depilatory cream. Am I saying that correctly? A depilatory cream. Depilatory. And what you do is you get you get in your shower, and it's like it's sort of like that prison scene from um, yeah. any movie that has a prison scene. <laughs> And you just kind of hold on for dear life, and then you're sniffing others. I wish I could tell you Andy Dufresne fought off the sisters. <laughs> and, and then your wife basically delouses your back. She just kind of sprays you down, and it's the coldest thing. But after five minutes, it's smooth. It's amazing. When does it grow back? It, like a, it starts to grow back immediately, but it's if you do it every like two or three weeks, it's very easy. It's a very simple process. Do you, you just can't to... wait till it gets to like gorillas in the mist back here. Do you want to do a <laughs> gameovergreggy.com video where you beat my back? <laughs> oh my god! I'll do it. I'll do it. Nick, Done. what's your topic? Uh, my topic actually again comes from Twitter. So everybody remember. tweet topics to Nick underscore Scarpino. Maybe yeah. he'll pick you. If you have a topic, please do. Please follow me. We're also me trying something new with next week's episode, which features Jeff Gersman from Giant Bomb. It's awesome. Yeah. Really nice. Uh, guy. We're doing a new thing where on Nick's topic, you guys get to vote on what uh, fan topic goes for next week. He gives you two options, and he gives you one really awesome video where he can't speak. Yeah, actually, so it turns out what Greg does when he hosts stuff is not easy. Which, so you guys should be very impressed every time he opens up the show with anything, because it's very hard. My topic is from at MD Robertson 24. Uh, he says, topic idea. If you had a chance to guest star in anything, uh, what would you most want to be a part of, past, present, or future? Oh, shoot. The Game Over Greggy Show. Oh, it's done. Nailed it. Yeah, you pounded the table. See, you get it now. Not like that. Not with that look in your eyes. <laughs> Psycho. I did not take my medicine. <sighs> what is, you, you, have you thought it through? What's yours? I, I, have a, I have a couple. I have a few, actually. So in the spirit of Colin Moriarty, my first big thing... Big ups, never big forget. Big ups, Colin. <laughs> uh, I would say Seinfeld, because I would, want, I would want to be on... I just want to be on one episode of that what, show. What, it's like something you know, crazy. What would you be? I would be... Young, he's a low talker. She's a two-faced. What would, what would an, he's a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I haven't thought of it. Probably, I'd want to be in that... I want to do in that parking episode because I'm so hard about parking. Oh, God. Remember the one where they like, yeah. like, wouldn't give up the spots? Yeah. I love that episode. So that's for Colin. Uh, and then instantly, follow me, this is a walk. So I thought about this a little bit. <laughs> I would want to be in a James Bond movie, but not in a Daniel Craig movie. I would want to be one pre-Goldeneye so that I could be a character in Goldeneye 64. Nice. Mm. Ah. Like You'd a playable like character. Job. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I would short. be like a job. <laughs> I be, which yeah. was very hard to, to get those uh, headshots on too, which is good. But that's that's what I would want to do. I think probably be in a Bond prox mimes, no odd job. Damn, that's how we rolled. Is that yeah. how you rolled? Yeah. Anyway, back in Naperville when I was playing in Michael Bryan's house. Big ups to Michael Bryan. Never big forget. Big ups, Michael Bryan. <laughs> uh, so yeah, either that or and then the third thing, of course, is just any Star Trek property. Maybe the Next Generation would be amazing, just so I could act opposite Jean Luc Picard. <laughs> He's got that beautiful bald head. Yeah. And he, yeah, I would just touch it. I would like mid scene just reach out and touch it, and he'd be like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "This is method. This is how I act. This is what I do." Your face is clammy, though. My face is not. That is a little clammy. What would you want to be in? Could it be animated? Yeah, sure. Anything. If I could get animated and be put into the Simpsons. Oh, that would be good. That'd be incredible. That's got to be coming. That's that has been like my my longtime favorite. I think yeah. we can do that. You could probably legitimately do that, though. Is The Simpsons still going? Yes. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's lost, it's lost its charm a little bit, but... I think it lost its charm about 20, 20 years ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the same age as me, I discovered. 
The Simpsons. Wow. 14? Oh. <laughs> and a half. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Would you want it? What would your episode revolve around? What would you do in it? Are you, are you see? Are you one of those like phoned in cameos? We're like Paul McCartney, blah blah blah. Are you like, like, like cool I'm driving I, this car. I would want to be like Bart's girlfriend or something like that. Nice. Oh yeah. Because you know I'm into that. Yeah. I'm we just all, kidding. I was like <laughs> pedophilia right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, he'd be your age now too. So That's well, true. technically, I think Bart was voiced by a female, right? Is that yeah. what, is that what the what reference you, you were trying to make? They're still making the God, show. They're still making the show. That's right. Eighty-five Yardley years Smith later, Smith is still with us. Oh my God! Is, is that who voices? <laughs> That's Bart? her. Yeah. Wow. I like Simpsons. You know, I saw a documentary about that about the Simpsons a while back, and they were like, "We don't really know each other that well because every time they record, they record separately, yeah. so they don't really spend a lot of time with each other. Unlike us, we yeah. spend." An exorbitant, amount, like a painful amount of time together. It's Not Barbara. Barbara, this is the first time you like What's that? I thought you liked us. I love you guys. Mm. I do. Good. Uh, well, somebody's had enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I thought this panel would be out the door. <laughs> Tim was told this was camping. So there's only one answer for me, and that's Power Rangers. But, I, I, yeah. So if I'm only guest starring, I mean, ideally, I'd, I'd, I'd want to be like the White Ranger, Silver Ranger, whoever the like. Silver the, Ranger the, would be the. Sixth is there a Silver Ranger, Ranger? that comes? Yeah, yeah, every season has different bullshit. What, no, pick a color, though. you got to pick a color. No, but what I'm saying is I want to be not one of the main cast. I want to be the fucking badass that comes in later. Like, the ba- he starts as a bad guy because you don't really understand like what he's all well, yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. So we're and just then... ripping off Tommy's storyline? Yeah. That, that's all they do on repeat every that's season. That's all anything but, does. So I don't want to be them, then. I just want to be the, the like one-episode cameo appearance ranger. Like the Gold like, Ranger? The alien. Oh, well, the Gold Ranger's awesome. That'd be badass. I want to be the Gold Ranger. I'm going to do that. The reason is I want one of those like, transformation sequences. Fuck it. I want Sailor Moon. I want to be in Sailor Moon. <laughs> I want to just stand and be naked and have colors wrap around me, and all of a sudden I'm in a little skirt. So what? what it's, it's not nudity if there's sparkles. Yeah, exactly. Can I take the Gold Ranger then? Because that was yeah, like kind of my Ranger. idea. Yeah. Because it's I, I just imagine that like when he fights, like it blinds people because he's so golden and beautiful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know what that's what? like. Have you ever seen Power Rangers? No. <laughs> Yeah, I have actually probably way too many episodes. Mine will come as no surprise to most, but I have a whole I have a whole plot line for it. No, no, no. no? I, I wanted I I'm if I would have been on the Gauntlet a few years earlier, I would have been on Smallville. And what I would have done, I I had I had wait wait wait. How does, wait, 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 How does that equate? What's up? If you would have been on the Gauntlet a few years earlier, well, the Gauntlet has propelled me to such heights <laughs> in my career. Oh, fame. I see. You're saying that would have been the stepping stone to Smallville. Now that I've been accepted by the Rooster Teeth community. They 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 could have me propelled off. you to a little yeah. a little Tom show Welling called Smallville. Tom Welling would be reading Variety and see an article about the Rooster Teeth stuff. And be like, How well, much cooler would it be guy. if I were Tom Welling and you could just hang out with me all the time? <laughs> that would be really fucking awesome. Yeah, let's make that happen, everyone. All right, let's turn <laughs> you into Tom Welling. Let's get started. <laughs> what I would have done though is that I had this whole spec script in my head for what I wanted to do. Oh right? God, I can't wait is to that, hear this. Stick with me, okay? Because it ha- they they stole it and they did it in Smallville eventually. But what I wanted to do they originally, what I wanted to do originally was I would come on and I would be Bizarro. Oh yeah. See, but because like good. in the beginning, remember when Smallville was trying not to go too comic those booky? Weird nipples. Exactly. No, no, he's right. <laughs> uh, Instead, when when they were trying to be like you know grounded and not be comic booky, like they, it would have never made sense to have like you know the the polygonal face and all white yeah. and chalk and stuff. So I clearly would look at me right now, Barbara. Objectively, do I look like a failed clone of Tom Welling? <laughs> Where like all the DNA went wrong and I <laughs> turn I turn this way, other way. Now, now feel his face. Go down. Just feel it. All right. Now stand up. Now put the mic down. Do the what? Put the mic down. Now walk that way. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Walk down the steps. See those doors? Go out them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think I think so. Tom Welling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But see, like, yeah, Lex would have stolen some of the blood from him and tried to do it, and it wouldn't work out, and then I'd come out, and I look enough like Tom, where they'd be like, whoa, and I've got, like, superpowers, but I'm like, like, Tom, what happened to you? And you're like, goo, goo, goo. Is that, <laughs> isn't that how he talks? Like, goo, goo, well, I wouldn't, on the show, I wouldn't call him Tom, because that's not his character. See, this is why you're not getting the big parts. But you'd be like, oh, Clark. Clark yeah. is his character. Yeah. yeah, but you would be Tom, so that means that, like, Tom at some point would have to be abducted, and you would be trying to fill in for him, but everyone would be like, you're not Tom. No, you're clearly no. Not, you don't work out. I'm what are you talking about? 
on the fucking show, Nick, I want to come on and be bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying at some in a storyline on the show, we're not abducting Tom Welling. That's but not how do they? How do they? Cl- oh, you would be like the alternate dimension Bizarro that comes. How, how do you become Bizarro? I just told are they you, cloning Lex you? Stole some of his blood and, and tried to clone him. it, but yeah. he doesn't understand Kryptonian biology. DNA. So yeah. he does it all up, and then I come out of the tube. And then what do they do with you? Do you just go to class like normal? Like, well, hey, no, what's I'm, up, everyone? I'm a little bit off, and eventually I get my head caved in, or I don't know, I'm thrown into a nuclear reactor or something. That's really. Cool. I eat an Oreo. <laughs> And they're like, you're all right, Bizarro. Go live on the moon. You're so misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's you and the Gold Ranger. That'd be awesome. Thank I, you. I would support this. I would have thought you would have said Ghostbusters, though. I thought you were going to. I thought your, your go to was such a bad I'm going to be a Ghostbusters. with it right now because I'm worried about what they're going to do next. I don't want another Ghostbusters. Don't do it. But they're going to do it. So, and then we could go Ghostbusters 3. Is it going to be a reboot, which would also be terrible because it'll be this Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn. Whoa! <laughs> we don't know how to be Ghostbusters. Ben Stiller! Why does your brain go to Ben Stiller? Because he's in everything. Because when I think of bad movies, I think of Ben Stiller. <laughs> <laughs> what if, Greg? What if they came to you Life and said this? Life of Mimsy or whatever the shit that was. <laughs> hey, we'll make a Walter we'll, Mitty. We'll, yeah, that's it. We'll make a we'll, we'll make Life a movie. We'll make a movie about Time Magazine closing down and this guy looking at pictures and jumping in. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I will never see this. <laughs> Look pretty though. Yeah. Look cool posters. I heard it was pretty good. To be fair. I'm just the gonna secret, be that. Walter person. Mitty. <laughs> Damn, you just got the limp mic treatment. <laughs> oh, now it's, it's happened more than once. It's yeah, I was okay. gonna say. Um, okay, Greg. Best case scenario. That's worst case scenario. Best case scenario. Yeah. Is that Harold? No, Harold Ramis is dead. Did he die? He's still alive. He's dead. <laughs> Too soon. Bill Murray's still alive. Bill Murray comes to us and he's like, "They're like, Greg, you're the biggest Ghostbusters fan on the planet. I need you and the rest of the cast of the Game of Greggy Show, plus Barbara, to be the Thank next you. Ghostbusters." Yeah. You wouldn't say yes to that. Oh, God, I'd say, yeah, sure, in a heartbeat. Even if I read the script, and I'm like, this is terrible. But the chance to be in a Ghostbusters it, but the, movie. But the script, just, the script just revolves around you and Slimer just hanging out for, like, the third act. That it's sounds It's like the awesome. entire second act is just you and Slimer. That sounds good. If they get back to more real Ghostbuster Slimer, they're on the right alley. Okay. Because that was the Slimer everybody loved. That's the what propelled him to fame. The real Ghostbusters the and Slimer is similar in the rise to fame as The Gauntlet Season 2 and Greg Miller. <laughs> I love all the parallels you're drawing. You're blowing my mind right now. Just letting you know. These amazing parallels. Did I ever tell you that the, o- the only TV show I ever cried during was Extreme Ghostbusters? Was the what? Extreme Ghostbusters. And if you're thinking, didn't Extreme Ghostbusters come out when you were like in high school? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I like this, by the way. This is liberating. I told you. That's Not the way I do it. in front of you. You see, Barbara, what happened on this episode of the, the Extreme Ghostbusters was that some, some shit was going on in the containment unit, and so Eduardo... And Slimer had to go Who's in. Who's Eduardo? He was one of the extreme Ghostbusters. Come on, Nick. Where were you in the 90s? <laughs> High school? The, like, see, what ha- let, see, Nick, what, what happened in Extreme okay. Ghostbusters was they needed more Ghostbusters. So Egon opened up shop again what, and got die? four new Ghostbusters. No. They, they was Ray still they, there? They eventually come back and blow your fucking mind when they unite because they had all of them together. Okay. But it was awesome. So you had this one guy in a wheelchair, Wait, so Eduardo, was, was most girl, of the show just another... the new Ghostbusters that they introduced so they didn't have to pay Bill Murray any more rides? Funny story. The real Ghostbusters is a cartoon that Bill Murray was never involved with. So he didn't have to which worry one was about the, Which one was the really good one with the monkey? So they go into this containment unit, and one of the other ghosts in there pulls some crazy-ass shit and possesses Slimer. Yes, ghosts can possess ghosts. Oh, my God. Inception. And Slimer turns around and bites Eduardo's oxygen tank. He, he suffocates. Why does he have an oxygen tank? Because he's inside the containment <laughs> unit. I didn't know you couldn't breathe oxygen in the containment it's unit. It's where they keep all the ghosts. It's a laser field. I guess they don't need oxygen. Anyways, they get him out, dead. and he's dead. And Slimer is over this, ki- this dead Ghostbuster crying. And I started crying. <laughs> and I was and I was home on a Friday night, junior year of high school. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for my topic oh. on the Game Over Greggy show. And it wouldn't be a panel for a community as good as you if you didn't get to talk. So my topic is whatever you guys want to talk about. You get up, ask your questions, we'll talk. We'll have it out. My Love topic it. is fan topics and fan questions. What a fan cop questions. Out. What a cop out? What do you mean? I'm I want to support kidding. everybody. You have to say you your don't name know anything first, about RTX. So this is what are. it's about. You forgot. It's all about the money for you now. Oh, my God. You are just like a walking money hat. Just give yeah. me the money. I'm so cool. Give me the money. You, sir. Hi. Hi. Uh, uh, at AH Chaser. What do I? At AH Chaser is my Twitter. Oh, okay. Cool. Sweet. Yep. Um, Tim, this is my question for you. Yes. Now that you're dating Kara, has yeah. she come He's and hit ice cream out of your hand yet? She has not. Can we fix she, that? We should. 
We should. Does so anyone go have any ice cream? Ice cream yeah, right go get some now ice cream. And come back. <laughs> Do you want to know a story about this question? Of course. Fans have come by our office when we were at the old building with ice cream for her to knock out. She once did it to some ice cream. They've been on the floor of the outside of the office for months. There's like ice cream stains all around the office. Good job, Kara. So. I keep trying to get her to do it. She just won't. I'm just like, please, babe, please. And she's just like, no, you're being weird. And I'm just I like, need come this. on. I need this. Come on. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're welcome. Good question. Nice shirt here, sir. Love Where'd you that get it? Shirt. Uh, I found it in the trash can. Right what? Outside. I was like, oh. <laughs> because no, 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 my, no, my, my Nick Scarpino shirt got like, got food on it, so I had to put it in my bag. I was like, oh, I don't have a shirt now. Oh, right, there's stay. a game over, Greggy one right there. Let me go grab it. Awesome. But, but no, um, uh, I'm a huge fan of you guys. So, so my question is, uh, you know, kids my age really look up to people like you guys who have these dream jobs. I'm so sorry. I, I, I know. So, I mean, <laughs> you gotta you think know. bigger. This is the worst when you uh, we meet like the fans are like, oh man, my son's a big fan. I'm like, oh, how old is he, seven? You're like, oh no. <laughs> Why is he watching us talk about buttholes? Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> b b between the stories of Colin watching you poop in a bush and, yeah. and, and, and Tim doing stuff with a goat, you, you guys really... <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> you guys really do time. say some, you know, so, some meaningful things every what couple did, hundred, you know, episodes or so. What did you do so, with the goat? You don't want to know. So, Barbara, let me ask you a question real quick. Stay right there. Let's would you have question. sex with a goat if no one knew? Or this, hold on, this would is you like not have sex with a goat, but everybody thinks you did? It's one of those, the devil shows up and you have to make a choice. You, oh, fuck. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you fuck the goat, I'm no fucking one the knows. Goat. Or you don't fuck the goat, and, but everyone thinks you fuck the goat. All right, I'd fuck the goat. Yeah. <laughs> so, so my question is, who are y'all's idols? Who, who did y'all look up to when, back in, you know, Nick, 1966, Greg, 1990? <laughs> that, that sort of thing. Uh, my idols are all mostly filmmakers. So, you know, I grew up in the 80s. I'm an 80s kid, which I don't, all of you don't remember it. It's okay. It was a time period. But I grew up in a time when uh, phones had to be attached to walls, and there was only five channels on TV for your entertainment. And so going to the movies for me was sort of my escape, right? Similar to what I think everyone does on the internet now. It's kind of you want to just go off and relax. That was what I did. And, and you know, guys like Steven Spielberg, uh, guys like Tim Burton, you know, uh, those are the guys that inspired me and said that, hey, like, especially Tim Burton with the 89 Batman, where it's like Michael Keaton? Really? That's good. That's your choice, and it knocked it out of the park, right? He, those guys taught me like you can you can do your own thing and and you know kind of dance to the beat of your own drum, and it can still be freaking amazing. So, that's me. That's a good one. Thanks. Good job. Uh, mine would be Dan Shu from EGM at the time. Woo. Yeah, right. Like, Shu was like, like he was the first personality in video games, like right, you know, from video game journalism that you're like, oh, this he's I like his reviews the best when I'm reading the three postage stamp size reviews, and he had the letter from the editor, and so he was totally that guy I looked up to to you know basically build my path to success or whatever. When I when I knew I wanted to write about games, I tried to mimic him. I remember the first time he ever emailed me back, like, and this is before like. There was no Twitter, obviously, but there were also emails weren't published yet, right? Because the EGM had no web presence, but I was able to figure it out through like a bunch of weird searches. And I emailed him asking, you know, what I should do in college if I, if journalism was a must. And he's like, it's not a must, but I recommend it. And if you can, minor in Japanese. And I was freaking out in my room, and I'm like, I totally will. And then I was like, man, Japanese is hard. Not gonna do that. <laughs> Just take half of his advice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, he, that was it, man. And then the first time I ever met him and talked to him, I lost my mind and acted like such an asshole. And I, was already, I already had a job. I was his peer in the industry. And it's one of the two times in my life. Were you working at IGN? Yep. yep. <laughs> it's one of the two times in my life I, I'm in my head going, stop talking, stop talking. I couldn't do it. That's awesome. Yeah, you ever tell that story? Awesome. Never I, I think story? you told me that story once, and I was like, wow. He, I, we walked into a Christmas, uh, he walked into a Christmas party I was at, and he was with uh, Shane, and I had just done a thing with uh, Shane on uh, G4. Okay. And so I walked over, and I was like, yeah. hey, what's up? And I had a few drinks, by the way. Hey, what's up, Shane? He's like, no, have you ever met Dan? You I'm assume like, all, this, all of his I stories start it. with that. And Dan's like, hey, I'm Dan. And I'm like, I'm Greg, and I'm a huge fan, and you gave me some advice, and once I emailed you, and I asked about what I should do in college, and you said journalism, and it would be a good idea, but I could do Japanese if I could, and I, did, I didn't do Japanese because it was too tough, but I did the journalism, and I went to Mizzou, and I thought I'd be able to go anywhere with a Mizzou degree. I'm not going to be able to work right at EGM. It used to be in Bloomingdale, that's right. You know, I'm from Chicago. I'm from Illinois, Illinois, but then you moved to San Francisco, and I knew that's where I'd go, and it ended up in San Francisco, and so then and he was like, whoa, cool, I got to go. And <laughs> 
And years later, I met him at a friend's birthday party, and thankfully, he did not remember that, yeah. and we hit it off, and we ma- became friends. The weird part of that is you were actually saying things just now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were actually things. saying words just now. Right. That was crazy. Um, this is going to be really lame, and people are going to think that I'm doing this as a cop-out, but my idol growing up, or someone I looked up to a lot, was Bernie Burns, actually. And, uh, I mean, for... <laughs> I, uh... I started as a fan when I was 14, watching Red vs. Blue and, and watching Rooster Teeth grow as a company. And it's just really inspiring someone who has taken such a good idea that was so small at the start and has grown it into what Rooster Teeth is now. And I mean, I'm still inspired by what he's done and how he continues to be humble and appreciative of the fans and the people who watch his content. So that's who I kind of strive to be when I grow up and become a man. <laughs> with, with an awesome beard, I might add. Exactly. I have a question for you. Yes. And I, I meant to ask it during the RTX part, but I think I got distracted because I was planning on taking my shirt off. Mm-hmm. Um, Thanks for the question, by the way. No, we still, we still, Tim's still got to answer it, we know. But my question for you, Barbara, and this is going to sound weird, stick with me, is why, why, why does Rooster Teeth succeed at getting female fans? This, is, we, uh, this week on Podcast Beyond on IGN, we had a whole discussion about the gender inequality in games, right? There's not enough female, uh, strong female characters, voices, developers, people on Beyond, you know, panelists, right? That there's just, we're still searching for that hook. But what blew me away is when I went to VidCon and I went to the, uh, the Bernie meetup that he threw together outside and 300 people came on like 30 <laughs> minutes of notice. And how many, not only, not, not only females there were, but how many young females there were, right? And people that are like into it, like you were and are, obviously. W- yeah. what's, what's different about, I guess, Rooster Teeth versus the rest of video game fandom? Well, I think Rooster Teeth, they don't just focus on video games and the things that make video games more masculine focused, but they focus more on comedy. And that, to me, is extremely universal, obviously. And they've always had very strong female characters in every show that they've made. They make people feel very welcome in the community, so I think a lot of girls relate to that. And obviously now with Ruby and some other shows that we're producing, they're very, you know, female-driven. And then we have the beautiful lads and gents of Achievement Hunter, which oh. are like the boy band of Rooster Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so that that helps a lot. Um, but no, I think they they've just always been very open and and focused on having a very broad spectrum of content that focuses on comedy. Cool. Thank you. No, you're welcome. Tim, who do you look up to? This is like a double cop out, but I gotta also say Bernie. Like he just does internet video right, and I've been a fan of Red vs. Blue and Rooster Teeth since it started, and to see everything that you guys have done and all that stuff, and it's just fucking crazy. In addition to that, Freddie Wong, like all of the videos that he made, like he really pioneered the next level of internet video. So shout out to him. And I'm, this is also like a really weird cop out, but I gotta say Nick Scarpino. Really? Yeah. He's a, he's a good dude to look up Boy, to. Oh, I led you wrong. Of, yeah, no, he's, he does a lot of good things. And he's, <laughs> he's my boss at, at IGN, and he's led me to a really good place. I'm happy I now get to talk to these guys and do fun things with them. So yeah. Thanks, Tim. You're welcome. That's awesome. Aww. Yay. Now kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. <laughs> nice shirt. Only 35? Yeah. He's wearing a Pertilla shirt if you can like, see, oh, or you're nice. listening and driving. I can see the outline of his head his, and that dull, vacant look in his eyes. Oh, no, <laughs> come on. Look, he's got nothing going on back there. What's your question? Uh, so on a conversation with Colin, uh, he had favorite Nick stories. I don't know, your favorite stories of each other as four best friends. Am wow. I best friends? It could be funniest oh, or... Yeah. Best yeah. friends at the table. Yeah, right? we're, we're, all, we're all best friends at the yeah, table. Yeah, you're best friends once you come up. Could be like funny moments or... I got, well... I have a great, I'll go with Tim, because Tim did something amazing way back in the day. He started as an intern at IGN, right? He fought his way in there. He like basically charmed his way through and was like, I want to be your intern. That's great. Then the last day of his internship, he typed us all these really well-written, like one paragraph notes, thanking us for like all the things and like citing specific, like he had been keeping a list of all the things that we had done together so he could like do a top five of like all the cool moments I really like had. lists he does like lists and he signed it and he was like thank you and I was like ah, we're gonna have to hire this kid now cause yeah that was really endearing so that was my story for you Greg no I'm, get, come back to me on the Greg story I'll well, think we should just one. each do one that, that was mine okay. alright mine's gonna be about Tim as well yeah. my thing with Tim is Tim of course we call him the pure one and we make a lot of fun of him he is like that incredibly nice person all the time yeah, what you see is what you get with him. There's, I've only seen him like upset once, and he wasn't even that upset. He was just upset, but he would just be like, "But whatever, dude. 
Like he just does that thing, like whatever, I don't know, whatever. But like, oh yeah, he gets super pissed. He's like, ah, I just, you know what? Whatever. And that's it. That's the last time he talks about it. Yeah. My it's thing, amazing. you know, I've been doing online video and IGN for a long time now, and seven and a half years, almost eight. And so I've, I've forgotten a lot of, well, not forgotten, but you've, you, you're always on to the next thing. You don't think about what it was like when it just started to happen because it happened so gradually that people would start to recognize me or Damon when we do something or want a photo or want an autograph. And like now it's to that point where you know, like I have an autograph signing here right after this. Please come, and that's awesome, and I love that. But now that's so like, okay, I got to do that. I got to do this. I have it all listed out. That when we went to PAX this year, and it was Tim's first time where he went to an event and he was not just a camera guy or not just uh, somebody who walking around doing tech stuff, where we did that Game Over Greggy show and then we went to the room next door and we sat there for an hour and a half and took photos and autographs with everybody who came to the panel. And they all had stories about you. And I just saw your face like that. Not only, you're super wide-eyed already. You're one of the most gullible people I know. But on top of that, <laughs> like you were so, it was like, this is your first taste of this and how much, how, you know, it, how much it meant to you meant a lot to me. meant a lot to me. Thank you. Appreciate you all. Look at us. God, we love each other so much. Let's all kiss. Yeah, <laughs> three-way kiss. Barbara's out. <laughs> Sorry. Tim, you want to give a memory? I have a memory. You, oh, Barbara's got oh, one, too. Well, I was kind of come back to you. Well, you guys were in town for the gauntlet. You, me, and Tim went to go get hot dogs at Frank. Yes. And that I went there fun. yesterday. I got the notorious P.I.G. Woo! It was a good call. Nice. We went yeah. there yesterday, too. I'm jealous. But no, that was really fun. We had spent, you know, the whole week shooting for the gauntlet, and it was really nice to actually get to sit down with you and get to know you a little more, and Tim as well. Um, right. But yeah, I don't know Nick very well. I'm sorry. This is our first time hanging out. Hi, Nick. Hi. It's so, nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that got <yeah>, weird. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, what do you got? I mean, uh, VidCon always holds a special place in my heart. Has anyone been to VidCon? You cool. Oh my God. Awesome. You guys got to go to VidCon. So, VidCon is this place. It's in Anaheim every year, and it's just a celebration of internet video and stuff. And that's how the three of us really got going, this whole Game Over Greg show. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be doing okay, it. Okay, true story. Before VidCon, I think it was three years ago, Greg was like, I am always going to write for the PlayStation channel. I'm, always, I'm never going to do videos. I'm always going to write reviews. I'm never going to do anything other than this. And then we took him to VidCon, and he was like... I was already doing Up at Noon at that point. <laughs> yeah, but you hadn't really bought in. You were like, this is... The internet video is dumb. Then you went to VidCon, and you were like, holy crap. And same for me, too. I was like, oh, I don't... You know, I know my job. I know exactly what I need to do. I'm not going to learn anything from anyone. And I go to VidCon, and I'm like, my eyes are open. I know now what I don't know. And same with you, I think. Yeah. And it was super inspiring. So if anyone's actually thinking about making internet video, or if you have a channel and you don't really know what to do with it, go to VidCon meet people there. It is an amazing event. Sorry, Tim, continue. Way to hijack his memory. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I was on the other end of that, and I was like, ha, I told you guys. So I felt yeah, really Yeah, Tim cool. was always like, it's gonna, it's, YouTube's kind of a big deal, and we're like, nah. But uh, my memory is just, it's the, the, the bar of the Hilton Hotel, oh, yeah. where everybody just gets really wasted at the end of every night. That's my memory. I don't remember <laughs> it, but that's my memory. I don't even remember <laughs> it. All right, good cool. enough. Thanks for the question. Thank uh, you. Congrats on the 8 million views, too. Oh, thank you, yeah. We crossed 8 million views on GameOverGreggy.com. That's our YouTube page. Woo! Sweet. Okay, so I have a question and a question. Okay. The first qu <laughs> Start with the question and then give us the question. Okay, good. The first question is, will you come see my band tonight at Emo's at 1045? Among the Heroes, shameless plug is over. The real question is, you die tomorrow. What's... <laughs> Jesus. I want to do the gauntlet panel. It's on Sunday. <laughs> you die tomorrow. What song is at your funeral? Personally, Let It Go. That's for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> let It Go is a good one. It's Gangsta's good Paradise was the first thing to come to mind. <laughs> yes. So if I can get like a Coolio Elsa mashup, I'm into that. Uh, Greg? Mine's Go Beyond. It's the song from the Beyond. end of podcast, Beyond 300. Beyond! Beyond! I remember it's the one. It's one of the uh, Danny and Tori things. Panda Musk animated it. It's just, it. I still choke up when I listen to it because it has all the memories of that day, and that's all the memories of seven years of work on that podcast wrapped into one. Wow, I should have gone right before you because mine's way more superficial than that. I was just going to go boys to men. <laughs> Anything boys to men. <laughs> just because I feel like that would like cap off my life perfectly. You know? I was going to go with Backstreet Boys. Oh, oh. That's really good. We both have Wait, which awesome one? funerals. We do. All of them, a playlist. Okay, okay. <laughs> not in sync. Not in sync. No, See, I was always an in sync fan. I was cool. more of an in sync fan. 
I would, if I had to pick between the two, it would be insane, hundred percent. JT. So disappointing. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you very much. Thank where, you. Where is Emos? Emos is on Sixth Street, I believe. Okay. In ten forty-five. Yeah, ten forty-five. Right. Among the heroes. Among well, the heroes. That's uh-huh. the name of your band. Everybody show up, or else you die tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that at a convention filled with security and guardians and all that stuff. None of them seem too worried. They're all just like, <laughs> chive on, chive on, uh, beyond, beyond. beyond. Uh, so my question is for Greg. This is gonna be quick fire. If you had Colin in one hand, <laughs> you already know what's going. Clear my mind. So Colin in one hand, Super Bowl in the other. You gotta pick. Go. Colin one. is a real human being. I pick Colin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love. Enough. I love the fictional character of Superboy. If he needs to be erased to save my best friend, I'm okay. No. Can I do the same thing for you? Clear your mind. Yeah. Clear your mind. Colin or Patillo? Don't make me choose. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, we've had we did a video about this. I know. Colin has at least twenty years left in him. Portillo, who knows? I've got a lot of good years out of him. He's I, a sweet I know dog, the feels. Yeah. I know the feels. Awesome. Uh, so, so my next, I had another question. Oh, you got another one. Uh, so, um, how did you? You brought up how you weren't really into internet videos, sure. and it wasn't really a big thing. How did you make a transition to make it seem so natural for you guys to to have an eight million views channel? I don't think it was natural. Per se, I mean, a lot of the stuff that, so we, I mean, we had worked together at IGN, right? And so when I say it was hard for me to get, I mean, like, I understood the internet video as far as it pertained to like a, do, a standalone.com. When it comes to YouTube, that is, is kind of a different beast altogether. And it was something that, since I had kind of grown up in the IGN system of this is how we make videos, this is what, this is what we do, we do reviews and news and information, it's very difficult for me to get my head wrapped around like someone is in their living room talking to a camera and speaking directly to an audience and there's no buffer between them and the people that they're talking to. I just, for some reason, couldn't get my head wrapped around that. Even really until you start doing it yourself and you start seeing people come up to you and go, hey, that thing you said that you don't know me, but that thing you said like inspired me or meant something to me or, you know, that's when you start getting the power of it and the importance of it in our society. And I stand by it right now, I'll say it, I mean, YouTube, maybe not in its current form, but for the rest of our lives, will be a major part of it. Sure. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Golf claps. <laughs> oh, I like that. Thanks, everyone. Uh, first of all, be on. Be on. Be on. And let Tim host. <laughs> yeah. No, nope, not going to happen. <laughs> uh, and welcome to ATX, the greatest city in this country. Woo. Right? Yeah. I like it a lot. <laughs> you got good food. Um, do they, do pretty do you, girls. Do we hook them horns here, or is that not hook it? Em. Yes. Hook them horns. There you go. Yeah. Um, my question is for all of y'all, really. Um, with y'all. this current generation that's sort of ended, uh, what was your favorite game, and what's the one that you're probably going to mo- uh, remember the most? God, the easy answer for me is Smash Bros. Oh. Every generation, for the last three generations, it's Smash Bros. What's going to be the game of this generation for me? Let me guess. Smash Bros. It's going to happen. Zelda, Arena, uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Sorry, I like melded those two words together. Zelda, yeah. Middle Gear Solid, Peace Walker. No Uncharted? I mean, I already said that Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker is my favorite game of all time. Peace Walker, okay. really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm going Smash. Right. <laughs> I don't. I don't. A lot of people don't know this. I don't play a lot of games, which is silly saying that, like, given the company that I keep. <laughs> but Tim always reminds me. He's like, I'm like, yeah, I'm not. You know, I don't play that much games. And Tim's like, you play like two hours of games a day because we play Smash Brothers at work almost every day. And he's like, and at some point you should play a character other than Pit. <laughs> So I'm, I'm working on my Kirby, but yeah, it's Smash Brothers for me. Right. Well, thanks. Thank no you. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, uh, what you call it? <laughs> Happy belated birthday to you. Are bro, you wearing bro. Google Glass or are yes. you a Scion? It's like Scion. You are Google yeah. Glass. Okay, sorry. Continue. <laughs> All right, From I, our uh, perspective, you just have one eye lit up like you a look Terminator. Like the Terminator. Like it it's, is amazing. You're, you're a silhouette, but then there's one light <laughs> staring at us. Yeah. Uh, I had awesome. a question for Tim. Yes. This, this is weird. I've never been on a mic. Okay, so... You like it, though, right? It's fun, it's, right? It feels fun. It's, it's natural. Yeah. Talk is ass. it natural for you guys? Obviously. Yeah. Uh, so, Tim, it's safe to say that Weiss is probably your favorite character in Ruby. Uh, have you seen Kara dressed as Weiss today? Oh, is, yes. <laughs> yes. Is she anywhere close to a Disney princess? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's safe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to be Elsa for Halloween. And by or Halloween, just he means Halloween. next week. Yeah. yeah. We got to start birthday. working on this cosplay early, baby. Yeah. <laughs> just keeps humming, let it go. I think we're almost at a time. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, we, we got one the two-minute warning. Got it. All right. Uh, one more thing. Go. 
Would Christine kill me if I touched her B cup, Greg? Oh, no. Come on up. All right. <laughs> wow. Christine. Come on up. Come on the way up here. You can you, ask your question while we yeah, go. Yeah, you come up I want to make sure we get as many as we can. So we can. Uh, <laughs> well, Fur place? Burr place? What? Sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to cut your nails. It's beautiful. Gross. Uh, hi. Hi. Um, hi. I came from Sweden just to go to RTX, but I just want to ask you, who's your favorite person in the video game franchise business thing? Character or developer? No, I mean just person in general. Like Jeff Miyamoto? Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you got to go with Shuhei. Are you Shuhei? Oh, I do. <laughs> you love Shu. I do love Shu. Yeah, I'll go Shuhei. Shuhei Yoshida, president of Sony Worldwide Studios. Definitely the best exec to follow on Twitter. <laughs> Funny, honest, gives us the time of day. <laughs> yeah, I go with him too. I got I mean, I don't, I'm not even a huge, a huge Sony fan, but every time Shuhei Yoshida shows up to anything, he is the coolest person in the room by far. And he brings you Oreos sometimes, which is awesome. Which we are going to do the oration on. Everybody do one calm of those down. Eventually. I would say Stone Chin. Stone Chin. <laughs> Shout nice. out to Stone Chin. From Ubisoft. Yeah, Stone's awesome. Just Zero. I think I we're out of time, Greg. Thanks so much. <laughs> Miyamoto. It's the only answer that makes any sense. Yeah. Creative Mario, Star Fox, Zelda. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Miyamoto. Thank you for your answers. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I think we're out of time, Greg. Can, Can this be the last one? One more? One, one more. more. One more. It's you. America, America Flag Day. There yes. America. Because America. Come, <laughs> you just come to the autograph signing and ask us questions there. I'll, I'll answer them. All right. Because it is the 4th of July, what's your favorite thing about America? Independence Day, the movie with Will Smith. <laughs> Love that movie. <laughs> the food. <laughs> There's a lot of it. McDonald's? No. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> yeah, there's that. I'll back that up, too. I'll say the fact that we can all enjoy this in this country, where we can all just come and share our ideas together in a giant room and wear lanyards and, and silly video game shirts, <laughs> makes this the best damn country in the world. Well so. said. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been the Game Over Greggy Show. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, every Friday we post the MP3 at gameovergreggy.bandcamp.com. You can pay it for a dollar. If you don't want to give us the dollar, no big deal. Go to youtube.com slash gameovergreggy the next week for every topic broken out video by video. Then buy shirts at distrolines.com slash gameovergreggy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming out and doing this with us. It's been our pleasure to serve you. Beyond! Beyond!